Now, if I was to ask you, what is the club in your bag that gets you most excited to play? You'd probably say driver. And if I was to ask you, what is your least exciting club in the bag to use? Then the likelihood is you might just say putter. Now, whatever your answer to that question might be, the chances are the clubs that we are ignoring are actually the most important. On screen for you now is some data that I've obtained from ShotScope. And what that basically says is that across every handicap section, we only hit the green in reg 35% of the times we play golf. Why is that such an important stat in today's video? Well, quite simply, we rely heavily on our short game. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce to you a new lineup of wedges from TaylorMade that could be either overhyped or quite simply underestimated. Roll out, roll out. And there is one element of the design in these new MG4 wedges which is of particular interest and every golfer just shouldn't ignore. Now before we get into the fine detail of these wedges, the real interesting bit, let's just talk about some basic specs and that is the fact that there is so many loft and bounce options available, they're going to suit every single type of wedge player out there. And interestingly enough, they've gone into what is a 115 gram lighter shaft as standard and that's supposed to help with sound and feel and that's something we'll discuss a little bit later on in the video. So let's start rating these things based on first of all looks and they've changed I think considerably. We've got that black finish and we've got the chrome finish but I think it's a chrome model that particularly interests me because it's become much more streamlined with P790s and P770s. So it's very stripped back, minimal markings, looks superb at address, but from a shelf appeal perspective and the fact they streamline into those P790s and P770s, then TaylorMade have definitely got a win and a tick in the box in that looks department. The next area we're gonna talk about is, do you know what, I can almost, they stop so much in terms of the spin, we're going to talk about that later, it's so impressive, but what I wanted to talk about was sound and feel, and quite simply that criteria is ticked multiple times over because they've got it spot on. Sound and feel is superb, no more need to be said. Now let's get on to the main story about these wedges and we'll also tie it in with on-course performance. I've hit a number of shots here this morning at Carden Park from a number of different uh, distances. Fairly moist conditions early on in the morning, there's plenty of dew on the ground. That's an important factor in what I'm going to talk about next, and that is the main piece of technology that's been added to these wedges in terms of MG4 is laser etching into that club face. So in between each of the main grooves, you'll see some other markings. They're very visible and maybe more noticeable when you run your hand across the front of the wedge itself. It almost feels like sandpaper, and it's a real notable uh, effort they've made there in terms of a change in technology. What it's designed to do is effectively move moisture, water between the uh, sort of contact area and the ball, which effectively is giving you greater consistency in terms of spin and in terms of control. Now, actually this morning, like I said, it is a, uh, a, there's a lot of dew on the ground, you can see from my club face, we're cutting up a lot of grass and a lot of moisture is being caught between uh, ball and club face, but we're still retaining a huge amount of control and a surprising amount of control. So whilst I can't back up anything that TaylorMade might say in terms of what their technology is supposed to do, um, in terms of scientifically, what I can tell you is from out here on the golf course, they've performed incredibly well. The spin so much so that it's something I'd have to get used to in terms of there's an extra bit of control I'm not used to experiencing. So I'm used to seeing a little bit of release and roll out from that 52 in particular that I played earlier on. And it's just grabbing uh, surprisingly so. So huge um, effort in terms of performance, massive tick in the box in terms of what I've seen out here on the golf course. All I can say is well done Taylor made MG4 wedges. Go, go. 
that's not too bad now the next thing we're going to talk about in our scoring criteria is forgiveness and forgiveness in wedges well it's a debatable thing because if we can't find the center of a club face with a wedge in and then i'd suggest we're struggling there have been some alterations though in the way they've shifted uh, a little bit of weight around the new mg4 lineup and also the sort of the hot spot that I like to call it, the centre of the club face has been moved in terms of that CG placement slightly as well, which is more to sort of aid with, I would say, um, trajectory as much as it is forgiveness. But I haven't really hit a shot that I would consider requiring any forgiveness out of a wedges and assuming that they pretty much all are we'll give it another tick in the box so finally in terms of our criteria it would be dry ball data that we'd look at next and uh, i have only hit a couple of full 52 wedges indoor and all i can say is in terms of optimal performance parameters the only thing i would look at in terms of my wedge was the spin and the spin control is off the charts to be honest with you so i'm going to quite simply say that in terms of wedge performance at least on full shots they would tick that box as well so what that means is the tailor-made mg4 wedges become the first product to tick all the boxes in our new scoring criteria and i really do think you'd uh, be hard pressed to find any sort of criticism in them they've got some great shaping that i've not talked about in and around the sole and plenty of sort of adaptability and flexibility that bounce as well the sort of within each category of bounce there is a secondary option that um, allows you to change that shaping and profile to very much suit your needs and i might make that change or i might consider making that change um, but from every lie from every shot they've just performed really really well and top that off with the look sound and feel then what is there not to like if we threw the price category and maybe that would be something that uh, will get the moans and groans and if you take a look at our partner hot golf this is what they are retailing at once again i've filmed this before they hit retail so you're seeing that price point before i do my guess is it's going to be certainly at that top end again and it's going to be mixing in with those vokies and such like it's the price you're gonna have to pay i'm afraid but yes they are super super good wedges i am really impressed and that groove a laser etched grooved face is probably a key change within these mg4 wedges that uh, you really need to try for yourself just to see how much it impacts in terms of that control out here on the fairways right that's me done as ever thanks for watching uh, let me know your feedback are these on the agenda what are your thoughts on the tailor-made mg4 wedges and i'll see you all soon